Want to set your bike computer up like multiple Ironman world champion? Well, here is what's on Jan Fredeno's Wahoo. Okay, Jan, so you've got your Wahoo there. I'm eager to see what you have on your screen. So I understand you've got a training setup and yep. also a race setup. Yep. Reasoning, just kind of simplifying it, getting those numbers. Yeah, easy. pretty much. I mean, well, you know, what, what am I going to do with temperature on race day? You know, kind of all, for instance, what else have I got? Meters of climbing, they're kind of, yeah, it's relative. You know, on the course, I know where I am. Whereas on a training ride, I'm probably more curious, need a bit more stimulus and just work with a bit more data. Okay, well let's dive into this because I'm sure there's people eager out there maybe wanting to set their own Wahoos up exactly how you have. So should we go through the training screen then? All right, let's do it. All um, right. So I've got three second average power. Okay. Um, I think a classic. Yeah. Speed, distance, ride time, overall time because I'm generally always late. <laughs> I don't know if I can do another loop before school pick up or not. Heart rate, meters of climbing. Um, then which is good, which is good, you know, leading into Nice, you live in Andorra now as well. So. Very true, and it's always worthwhile, especially because living in Andorra, they're pretty spectacular numbers. Like my normal two hour loop now has 1400 meters of climbing. So it's oh, kind of, I love that. They're, they're, they're nice little show off numbers. Well, yeah. I started training for an ultra and I started like logging the meters climbed and uh, it's yeah, just a personal kind of uh, yeah, it's pride it, thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is, it's definitely. Great. It's like on Zwift, you know, when you get those people who are like, all super focused on just going miles and miles and miles, and then you get those who are all about climbing. It's kind of Love it. in between. Brilliant. Um, then I've got gradient. Um, okay. Just because there's some steep roads. Where yeah. I live. Um, I've heard there's some really steep and, stuff in Andorra as well. Yeah, it's you know it's not all like one, two, threes. You, you get a few like 19% yeah, pieces, yeah. and it's just. Just come and keep the mind occupied, especially because it's a coloured background. So, yeah. do, do, do you ever, you know, say heading to race like this, you will go, oh, well, I know in the race it's a seven percent gradient. So on this climb, I know, do, do you pay attention that much, or you just go, this is a hill, I'm going to work hard on a hill? No, to be honest, like especially here, you've got 45 to 50 minutes of one climb only. Yeah. Um, so the thing is, when you live in Andorra, you've got an array of 50 to 70 minute climbs that you can go for. And then the gradient does matter because, um, especially for me, it's, yeah, it's kind of in terms of being one of the heavier guys, I can't just spin and fly up one of the climbs. I try and look for the right equal or equivalent of a gradient. Um, and then sometimes you just got to get up and then you wonder whether you've just got heavy legs or whether it's bloody steep. It's so nice, <laughs> all right. So that's it. Um, that's that for me. And then the last stat I've got is temperature. Ah, good. Yeah. Um, the one thing I don't have on here, um, simply because I do it by fearless cadence, um, yeah. but I've got it on my other screen, which I'll take you to now, which is, is the race the screen. Race screen. Uh, on the race screen, I've only got five stats, yeah, okay. which is power, three second average again, speed, cadence, because the cadence uh, probably is more relevant, overall time and distance. The thing I've noticed as well, you don't have a normalized power on there. Not bothered sort of seeing kind of relative low over the whole ride or anything like that? Well, normalized power is kind of the one to make you feel good, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's why I have it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just want average power and I always just, I leave it out because um, specifically when I see that number, um, it, it edges me on and that kind of, especially for the easier bits, you tend to push through the easier bits, um, you know, an interval is an interval, you've got to yeah. hit your numbers. But then when you can, on an easier bit, you can push 20 watts more mm. at any time, but that actually has a significant impact and that's why I specifically have it as the first thing after my ride, yeah. but not during. So that's a really good point and I will put my hand up and say I've fallen foul to and pass yeah. myself, so yeah, good, good point. Is there anything else that you do, like do you have notifications on the Wahoo or do you not bother with that on race day? Uh, on race day, I don't have any notifications. Right. I've kind of got the, the course more or, less more or less memorized, especially here in terms of, you know, pairing up nutrition with uh, certain scenic points. So, no, and I won't be taking a phone, so I won't be getting an email. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that is a tried and tested setup by Jan. If you want your Wahoo set up the same, then do it now. Here it is. Well, given Jan must look at this for countless hours, week in, week out, I reckon he has it pretty dialed. You can set up any bike computer in a similar way, but if you already own a Wahoo bike computer, scan this QR code on screen right now to find out how to set yours up in exactly the same way.
Well, thanks again to Jan for sharing this with us and see you next time.